Hey guys, it's Adriana here from Adzu Lab, and today we're gonna learn about something called alt text. Now, alt text is really important for improving your image SEO, and we're gonna talk a little bit about why that is and how you can write a really good alt text for all of your products and for every page on your website. So what is alt text? Alt text is simply alternative text that describes your image. So alt text goes by a couple other names, but they're all the same thing. There's alt descriptions, alt attributes, there's alternative text, it's just spelled out completely. And then there's something called alt tags, which is actually technically not correct, but people call it that anyways. All right, so the other question is, why is alt text important? Alt text is used for screen readers. So it's used for the visually impaired. So if someone is blind, for example, they can't see what's actually on the computer, so they use a device called a screen reader, which will read off the alternative text, or the alt text, on an image to tell them what the image is about. So, as you can imagine, you want your alt text to correctly describe your image. And the reason I'm saying this is because there has been a trend of putting incorrect information in alt text in order to game the system, we'll talk about that later, but you want to correctly describe your image, that way you're not deceiving anyone and you're not frustrating anybody that is trying to understand what your image is about. All right, and the second reason is that you want to create an alt text for your images in order to optimize your image SEO opportunity. So basically you wanna always make sure that you don't have your alt text missing or that it's not crummy because that information is gonna be used by search engines to understand your content. Now remember that search engines such as Google are just robots. They don't have eyes to see the images that you're placing on your website. You might have a picture of a chocolate chip cookie because you're selling baked goods and you probably think, well, they understand that. It's a picture of a chocolate chip cookie. But if you don't have a file name or alt text that properly describes that image, Google and other search engines don't know what the image is about. They just see an image and they don't know what it is. So this is your opportunity to give Google more information about your images and this can help you show up in both Google search results and also in Google images. Now this is great because we're talking about organic search traffic meaning someone types something into a search engine and then hopefully your website is pulling up as a search result for that query. Now this doesn't automatically happen, we're just saying that if you have your alt text filled out, you have a higher likelihood. Now there's a lot of other things to consider such as the other 200 ranking factors that go into deciding who ends up on that first page. But just like anything, this is just one step to get you closer to ranking higher, to having better SEO, to having a better visibility across Google and other search engines. So if, for example, you had an image of a dog wearing a wool sweater, you would want to say, small dog wearing red striped wool sweater. So this is really good because you're giving Google a lot of information to work with. And especially if it's a product such as the sweater on the dog, then you want to really describe that product in case someone is looking for that item on Google. So kind of think about what people are looking for and just kind of keep it human readable. Don't put a bunch of gibberish on there. Kind of speak like a human basically and it should make sense and you're properly describing the image. Remember, you're never trying to deceive people. All right, so now we understand alt text pretty well, and now we're gonna talk about how do you create a great alt text? How do you write them? You'll wanna keep it short and sweet, so I recommend using at least four words, so four to eight words, and this is a good range, I would say, because it kinda keeps it really short so you're just describing what's in the image but you're also using you know eight words is a decent amount of words so you're really kind of going to the core of what is this image about and i would say that you'll want to definitely use descriptive language so if it's a person you can do the who what where of the person what is the person doing where is the person what's the scenery like does the person have an object in their hand and if the image is of a product that you're trying to sell 
will definitely describe that product, right? What is the size? What is the color? What materials are being used? What is in the picture? You know, what kind of product are you selling that people are gonna be looking for? And most importantly, when you write alt text, you just kind of type it in with spaces like you would normally type. You don't need to include dashes or underscores. This is not necessary. In fact, don't do it. Just leave spaces and this is perfect. So you do not want to go over 125 characters. And that's because this is where the screen reader will cut off so the screen reader will stop speaking to the person who's visually impaired at 125 characters. So you want to keep it within 125 characters so that the screen reader can correctly communicate to the person using the screen reader what your image is about without getting truncated. You'll also want to include keywords, at least one or two, a minimum of one, I would say. So keywords are important words or phrases that reflect your product that you're selling. So, for example, if I was selling a cat bow tie, then that might be my keyword. People are searching for cat bow tie into Google search. And lo and behold, I sell those. So my image is of a cat wearing a bow tie. I will definitely want to include cat bow tie in the image alt text. But the point is, is that you'll want to include keywords so that Google knows what you're talking about and Google will understand that that is what you're trying to rank for or that that is what is most important about your image. Keywords help Google and other search engines understand the content of your image and keywords are also important for ranking. So definitely don't forget about them. But at the same time, you don't want to keyword stuff. Keyword stuffing is when you just jam pack your alt text with a bunch of keywords. An example of this would be amazing cat bow tie, buy cat bow ties, sale cat bow tie, discount cat bow ties. Okay, you get the picture, but this actually happens. People really do this, but Google doesn't like this. Google will think that a website that is doing this is trying to game the system and they will think that that website is of low quality or spammy and they're not gonna suggest it to users looking for that product. So definitely don't keyword stuff. It can negatively affect your ranking and it's a bad practice. And we talked about this earlier, but don't deceive people. So accurately describe what's in your image. Don't write something else if you're trying to rank for something that's not really relevant to the image because then it won't make sense to the screen readers and also you'll confuse Google and it's just bad. So don't do that. It's a bad practice as well. Let's do an example together. So we're looking at a picture here of pineapple juice and let's go ahead and call that all text pineapple juice. Now what's wrong with this? We're just using two words, but we mentioned earlier that we should use a minimum of four words. Four to eight words is a good range. And remember, you can take up the whole 125 characters, so we're not really optimizing here. Now, what if we were to name this image cold-pressed pineapple juice? Now, that's better because we're using some terminology that perhaps customers might be typing into the search bar to look for this product. Cold-pressed juice is a term that people use. So it's better, we're adding more detail more info to this image and it not only helps the screen reader person understand what this image is about but it also helps google understand what is being depicted in this image and lastly our amazing alt text that we've come up with is handcrafted cold pressed pineapple mango juice this is an example of an amazing alt text because we're using seven words so that's a great amount of words to be using and we're also giving a lot of details about the product. We now know that it is handcrafted, that it's cold press, we know the flavors, it's mango and pineapple and it's juice. This might be something that someone is searching for in the Google search bar so it's really important to kind of put as much details as possible and also keep it simple. This is an example of not keyword stuffing and the keyword that I'm trying to target is cold press and I've only used it once. I didn't repeat it over and over and over again. So this is a good practice. Just include your keyword once and you can use a secondary keyword, something that describes it in even more detail once as well. How do you use the Get Clicked app to update your alt text? So on our dashboard, you can go ahead and click on the product insights. And then here you'll see an index of all of your products 
We made it so that you'll see if any alt text is missing, it'll show up in red. And then you can just go ahead and click on any product. You'll see a list of all of the images for that one product. And you'll see if any of them are missing or if you need to update them somehow. But definitely go ahead and make sure to fix all of your alt text using the rules and guidelines that we described in this video. So I hope this video gave you a better understanding of what alt text is and how you can write them to improve your overall SEO. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to email us at support at adulab.com and we promise we'll reply shortly. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time with more SEO tips.